believe it was Gio, uh, was zipping in way too much. And game two, I think, was just a massive outdra outdraft by uh, uh, Mineski themselves. I think they just outdrafted themselves. Uh, first of all, game losing, <laughs> game losing brute pick. <laughs> I just have to harp on it. But I think it was terrible because th at that point, they were still tight under in the pool. And I was like, okay, they're just going to pick tight now, aren't they? And then uh, I can, once Tiny gets Agnes, he just clears brute waves anyway. And he can counter push and relocate back into the fight so the brute was a game losing pick and then the sf as well though the sf last pick was terrible they probably realized okay we have axe brute as cause and we need a carry but you don't just solo mid the sf against tiny wisps he's gonna feed yeah there's nothing you can do about it so it i think fun. Game, game game two there was absolutely zero chances of Mines. uh ember spirit where you... it looks like it will be the sven wisp mid because my pro has been playing their mid hero with the wisp in previous games Stop pinging for the love of God, seriously. Let's run, run over here. We need to. Oh, yeah, change back to normal vision. I still had it on dire vision. I was just like, wh why can't I see the offlane here? Was that like, wasn't very successful, that tether. You could destroy, you can, can destroy a lot more trees with that. Walks up and berserk. If Hero stands too far forward, we're looking to go for it now. The war cry to allow my pro to catch up. One stun, yep. a couple right clicks, and Hero. No one for this world. Oh! He gets oh, the first blood return. Well played! Mm hmm. Well, mid lane. My pro mm -hmm. trying to dive behind tier one. Is he gonna stun? Yeah. <laughs> Look <laughs> at that. He, just... <laughs> he runs forward and the cure has to back the hell up. Um, at least cure. Well, he had a bit, so he already took it out, so there isn't too much left to do for him than to just farm it. March for now holding skill points. Although he's really under leveled, though. I mean. It's mostly the, the supports have been rotating the whole time, and he doesn't really see line, although he died bot lane, so I'm not sure why he is only level 3. I don't get it. I think he could play uh, way more aggressively against Lakels, at least getting XP. I mean, Lakels is out leveling over 3 levels after all. I guess the kind of difficult thing is, with Battery Assault, you're going to rip through Flame Guard, but you're not actually going to do damage to the Ember Spirit. It's quite difficult to actually go in for a kill and harass him down, which is what Clockwork excels at. And there's no support there to go and do it to. Like, if Lion was there, Clockwork would be looking at the Lion and thinking, okay, I'm going to go up Battery and Cogs, and I'm going to try and get a kill or at least a trade. With the Ember Spirit, you don't really have that opportunity. <sighs> Chen mm. with very low HP creeps, looking towards mid. Alpha Wolf and Furbog. <laughs> yeah, I, I seriously don't see why not. You've got 10 stick charges, you've got treads you can switch to int, and you've got a Wisp of the Bottle. You have unlimited mana. It's 140 mana, but why that? You see tinies, you know, avalanche and toss at will pretty much onto creep waves or just to harass people down to half HP. You're burning through Kuro's bottle charges, forcing him back to the jungle. There's literally no reason not to do this. Yeah. It just looks a bit funky, you know? Look! Oh, a Shadow Fiend. He has a stone ball to your face. <laughs> Pied is just Earthshaker and Corp Alti, essentially. They have mediocre gank and pick off with Clockwork, but since Queen of Pain didn't go for Orchid, she's lacking in that department. And they have Nessef. Essentially, their lineup doesn't really have any synergy that's, that's screaming out to me. It, it's just, you know, a few heroes that are fairly good, they do decent in laning stage, but Signature trusts their lineup at least, they have Gomeru and the, the Blink is getting revealed there onto QO, Relocate comes up, and Q is dead. So QO trying to come back into this, picking up the Staff of Wizardry for the Yule Scepter, but not getting any closer to that. Relocate back in. Ace of Space does have Echo Slam. It's going to be used. Yep. Onto Shiro. Luckily, doesn't bring the Sven back in as Sven and Lion fighting up against March, who takes down Boom Bell. And my pro going to try and find some revenge here for his mate. He really has to be careful with the Lakelts. Where did he go? Oh, he's in mid lane chasing nuts. Yeah, Lakelts, buddy. No. Not good. Yeah, Queen of Pain comes in, screams him down. Tells Lakelts to sit back down. Yep, that well, was a bit of an overzealous thing to do, to chasing the Chen there, while he knew that the rest of the heroes were there as well. I mean, MVP could still 5-man, they still, for the moment at least, they have really strong 5-man if the Signatures are not there. They might decide to go for the fight there, they, there's God Strength up, and Cole only catching QO. Yeah, then the, ho oh, oh, Sonic Wave catching both of them in fact. Can the Axe get anything more from this? Nope! Rocket Flare from March with a double kill. Now, K Phoenix is still on the hunt trying to find the Wisp. Shiro tethered up to Boom Bell, but he doesn't have enough HP to survive through that. Queen of Pain, Fisher to start off. Boom Bell has a hex. He's got Earth Spike in. No, he doesn't have mana for it. Yeah, all of a I mean, sudden. If you, all of a sudden. 
a few misinitiations. They needed everybody there. They wanted to take the fight. And it's overall March is playing exceptionally well on his clockwork. So getting a bit of a respite and getting ever closer to his. Oh, he has his, he has a complete deny his yield scepter. So maybe he you will be able to dodge like a Sven Stormball from it and then bait signature trust into overextending. How far away is Fabi from his blink? Two hundred gold. Oh wow, that's pretty. That's pretty quick. Eighteen that's minutes good, in. Yeah. I guess because they've got a Chen who doesn't have really anything at all. Mech with no boots. Nuts is pretty far behind. Sure, he's ahead of the line and Wisp in terms of net worth, but the fact he's got no mobility, no mana regen, or anything like that, no arcane boots, he still doesn't offer that much outside of his ulti. Mm -hmm. And mech. Yeah. But Blink comes out on line first. Dock my pro though. Getting hook shot. Where's the relocate? Not in time. And now both of them are going for Wisp. Nothing to tether to. Gonna be an easy kill here. Who's gonna take it though? Q or March? Who are your bets on? K Phoenix possibility as well. Who I gets the last so. hit? Q or? No. Uh, Phoenix. He does tether. No. Yeah. March. No. I thought he'd throw out a rocket or something to steal it. CP's down towards mid. Ace of Spades has already shown off that blink dagger with the Echo Slam. Finally the kill on Axe. As Chen takes the last click there. A thousand gold now up on Nuts. Yeah. Trust once again getting a bit overconfident. The burst was just too much. And Wisp couldn't relocate the Sven out in time. But Sven very close to his BKB now. And Ember nearly has Battle Fury. But if he gets picked off here, which is definitely a thing with that uh, Orchid from K Phoenix. Is he gonna channel wreck him? Okay, Sven. Where's where's Io? Where's the rest of his team? Yeah, Hex down onto K Phoenix from the line. Now the Earth Spike caught QO. They've got Finger of Death. No, 20 seconds until that's back up. Now my pro slowed down by the Shadow Strike, trying to chase down the Shadow Feed. Can they get in there in time? The Sonic Wave! Just killing that Sven! And he has another blink up. There we go. It looked like the Sven took multiple sets of damage from that Sonic Wave because he was running with the line of it. Apparently, it looked really odd, I have to say, and that's going to be a tier 2 tower as well, uncontested. So, back and forth game overall, just, just full, fully based upon momentum so far, and K Phoenix is riding it. That's the weird way that uh, Sonic Wave works, it does kind of like blocks of damage, so it, you know, it goes out in a cone, but it does blocks of damage like that. So if you're running fast enough through these blocks of damage, you can actually get hit multiple times. Oi, Boomba, buddy, you're really, really low! Chen creeps, no! Oh. Okay, the right click finishes them off. Searing chains, no, not in time. The kills. Orchid, silent stop. He, he in here with the Berserker's call. Chen creeps, giving oh, so many more targets. Down. He does miss the culling blade, but Nuts will be the second to fall. MVP sticking around just a little bit too long. Chen army will get cleared up here as well as the Kells has given up on Battle Fury. This is the game of switching item decisions. He's going into Matter style. Yeah, after seeing the Orchid coming out from the Queen of Pain, it was also very close to her Agnus Scepter now, and already level 16. That's really fast. I mean, she got many, many kills. You have to as Queen of Pain as well. And the hero only really functions if you're ahead. If you're behind as Quap, the hero just suffers. Kyo with an Invis room. might think of going for the solo kill there. He could... Uh, does he have ultimate up? No, five seconds. But... Ah, that's Fisher and right clicks. Yep. Throw out some raises there as well now. Kuo has an Invis rune, he's also got the Yule's Blink, so he could potentially go into an aggressive position now and always have the opportunity to Cyclone himself and Blink backwards after the Requiem has been channeled and thrown Oh, he out. might find Boombell here. If he finds Boombell, then he's dead. He can get one shot. Well, Boombell's gonna find the Courier, but... No, he's not. He gets one, <laughs> well, he finds it. He gets one hit out before he dies. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yes, Axe. Uh, Axe, that's it. You, you you cling on to your stomach because that hurt a lot, but you got out of there alive, buddy. You should be pretty damn happy about that. Oh, he definitely should be. That was a mystery by K Phoenix. Maybe it's the new Dota passing that's screwing him up there, but that should have been a clear kill on, on Axe. But instead, it's two for zero. Yeah. Sven, now with the Mask of Madness, was allowed to escape with the Wisp. Who looks like he's building into a pretty late mech there. 26 minutes in and he's just picked up a chainmail. But you've still got Boom Bell, who has Blink Tranquils more than enough item-wise for that Lion. That's pretty much where you're happy as Lion, right? I've got Blink, Tranquils, I've got level 4, no, level 3 Mana Drain. But nevertheless, level 2 Finger of Death. 
Biggest issue is still Lakels so far. He's still underfarmed. He has his Manta stand up, but Lakels has overall really been using his remnants rather liberally. He's been using to farm as well, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, okay. oh, really? gonna find the Queen of Pain, stunned up after Hex. Now the she BKB does. from my pro gonna allow him oh, no, to survive through Requiem, but March, hook shots in. My pro now can cleave through three of them, in fact, as the Yules from someone. Uh, oh, what? Big call. Yeah, big call on the three. Culling Blade actually lands first on two. Oh, man, for, for, for Culling Blade. <laughs> nice sent back by the Chen, saving the Earthshaker. And another call missed by Hee Hee, but the more, more important one was the one previously. And it was just, that was a, once again, overconfident play there by MVP. K Phoenix is walking up the ramp. Oh. Into a lion, and if you get caught by the hex first, there's no way you're surviving as well. No matter if you have BKB or not. I don't know if I was lagging or if something weird happened, but Shadow Fiend was BKB'd and then got used. He used himself. You can't use yourself when you BKB. Can't, can't you? Because you can force off yourself. You can, uh, yeah, you can force because they, they yeah. changed that, yeah. so you can. Uh, uh, there's a mechanics change, so you can force off yourself because yeah. people like Omni Knight would repel. Uh, mid lane, yeah. Ace of Spades getting caught out by Lakels. They've got a bit of damage here, but the Yules. And then the blink, possibly. Yep. Actually, send back from Chen. Well yeah, send back. That's a nice little. Okay, nice searing chains as well. But not sure if they're gonna chase since MVP Phoenix, their heroes are reviving, and there is no need for Signature Trust to once again overextend and throw away the little, you know, the little advantage they just gained from that fight. What's well, then got Crystalis? Yep. Oh, I'm wrong. You can yeah, you can now use yourself while you're magic immune. Mm-hmm. That, that confused me. So I just saw BKB shining all golden, flying up in the air, cycloned up. Yeah, so it's a, it does look a bit weird. But when was I don't that? Know. When was that changed? Wasn't it the same with four stuff? <laughs> the same time. Six point eight one. It was changed. So qu quite recently. <laughs> so quite recently, yes. <laughs> That's because we are kind of, yeah, old school players in that regard. I, I really did not know that. Oh wow. The more you know, the more you know. <laughs> the, 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 you always kind of find out many, many different things. And Doc by Pro is is on the high ground. Where's Wisp? Wisp, Wisp My bro, yeah. he's gonna get scattered out here. Ace of Spades, the Orchid, he's gonna have to BKB. My bro, Sven, he's losing far too much AP. Gets relocated out, so BKB wasted. Relocate used defensively. Now Wisp gonna have to give up his life to save his Although you might bring him back. Lakels, he does put a remnant in. Do you think they come back into this? Right into the cogs? No. He he is here with the Shivas, but it looks like Shiro is going to fall. Could have gone worse for trust, but Sven getting relocated out. Cure is still on the chase. Typical cure things. We really. doesn't really care. He's gonna. Is he gonna blink forward and use somebody? Lakels. Oh, he didn't have a defensive remnant there. Uh, MVP with their BKB suddenly say, "Well, your damage is meaningless to us. We're just gonna right click you down to death, pretty much." K Phoenix with the acronyms upgraded ultimate as well. Off cooldown in 30 seconds after just being used. Net worth wise though, I just brought up the graphs before the fight. MVP had a good 12,000 net worth lead. That was brought down to 2,000 over the space yeah. of 10 minutes or so. Experience wise brought down to zero. So trust with, you know, a, a couple of good plays over the past 10 minutes. MVP with a couple of misplays, I'd like to say. Just being a little bit over aggressive, like K Phoenix getting caught in the jungle, I think is one of the key ones there that trust managed to find a kill out onto the Queen of Pain. But MVP still feel like they hold the power in this game. They do, especially with the recent death. And once again, it's a misplay by Lakels. He had no defensive remnant prepared. Otherwise, he w could have gotten out. The Orca did come, come out. He instantly matters, but he had no remnant to jump to. Down here. Now he's got a granite golem. <laughs> my camera just, my camera just swung to the underbelly of the granite golem. He doesn't have any uh, genitals. I c can can confirm. But yeah, back to mid lane. Fisher down to my pro. They've got the stomp from the centaur, but they're not following this up with anything really. Chen creeps. Ah, oh, there we go. March with the hook shot in. Real Catching out my pro. Uh, yep. They will get hmm. the wisp though. They just weren't too sure, but Lakels is there though. Um. um Lakels. Lakels stunned Defense down. Around. Held in place. Now the echo from the Earthshaker, but Lakels manter up. He's going to escape out of here as he and my pro are in the midst of the actual fight. March getting oh, cleaved oh, down. Oh, Look at the my pro. The damage. The crits. But it's just not enough to take them both down as QO yields himself up defensively to survive through the onslaught that was happening inside of those cogs. Boo Bell, right click down by the Queen of Pain. 
as uh, MVP have another decent fight. They lose a couple of heroes, but no one too important. Shadowfiend and Queen of Pain still alive. Chen still with a couple of creeps. Where is his granite golem? Where is the big golem? Did Dude's it die? Been taken out. That's that's pretty nuts. Hmm. Like he might have just died in random AOE. I mean, Sven does cleave for quite a lot of damage. Yeah, true. Well, at least they don't get any objectives so far. So and even in just in case he has buyback. And... The net worth graph has been an absolute roller coaster ride. Yeah, <laughs> it's been all over the place. We've got Both teams uh... sometimes just going overextending, having some questionable plays. I don't really know what the Metro Hammer on Lake House is for. It might be Desolator. It might be a late game Maelstrom. BKB. I hope not. I don't see why you'd make a BKB here, because you have Manta style, there's not too much magic damage, like... What's killing him at the moment is SF, yeah. pretty much. Scardian right clicks. De Desolator, I guess? I Desolator is a good item over on Ember. Oh, uh, yeah. well, they're having lanes pushed in, so Maelstrom would make sense, but... A second Battle Fury would be so much more effective. I think so. Also, Daedalus would be good. I think if he can get a few crits off himself. And just Crystalus into Daedalus would also be in Goshamp. He does go BKB, which I hate. <laughs> you already have a defensive item in Manta. Well, what's I, mean, I can I can kind of understand it since it's... If he is, if he wants to... The thing is, you can't stand in right kick anyways, Ember. You know, you can only stand on backlines. It's not how you're supposed to play Ember. You can't walk up to the SF and start trading right clicks with him. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure this out, because there's not even that much magic damage. There's Earthshaker and Clockwork. Queen of Pain and Sonic Wave goes through magic community anyway, so that's that's just out the window altogether. Scream of Pain doesn't do that much damage at this point in the game. It's, it's Okay, a, Phoenix is dealing more with right clicks and an AC. Yes. Yeah. Oh god, DDSF, goodbye Russia. Oh, buddy. How much, oh, how much armor does he have? Four minus five. It's not that bad. I thought it would be a lot lower. In fact, they have Presence of the Dark Lord and AC. That seems to be weird though, it should be lower. Maybe it's not just not showing properly. I mean, since Person of Dark is 6 armor, right? Minus 6, that's and then K-Phoenix minus 5, that's, that's minus 11. I just want to see on a creep whether both buffs apply, or both debuffs apply. Okay, Fabi jumping into, onto the axe there, using him. BKB for me. Oh, shot. It's available, but he's not got the time to use it. He's, lose, he's lost all of his HP already. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Wave, Queen of Pain, gonna try and go and take down Boom Bell, which he do, will do successfully. Lakel's on the chase, but he's used Manta, BKB is still available in case he gets silenced up. Febby comes in with the Fisher. Lakel's BKB, gonna try and remnant oh, back, but God, that was hey such Phoenix. A awkward remnant. March caught in the cogs with my pro, getting slammed into the ground by Sven, but look at the right clicks from the Queen of Pain, just has to blink into a little cubby hole, hide away in the trees somewhere, not even needed. As they slow down Hee Hee. Scotty slowing down the axe, hold him in place, right click him down, two more raises. Time. No problems whatsoever. Axe bought, uh, Sven bought back. Axe as well, and there was a dieback. And without axe, I don't think they can fight at all. Sven with a vitality booster, not increasing his damage output at all, just trying to get some more raw HP. The Ancient Black Dragon. Who are you chasing? What's your goal here? As Yules used on Lakel, Sonic Wave across two, the Wisp and Sven both cause out. But yeah, this is what I was saying. Cave Phoenix can literally just go and hide somewhere in the trees, and there's no real way for for Trust to actually blink onto him. Look at him just going onto the Sven, and he has to pop B Fabi give you defensively since he doesn't have God Strength to keep fighting. Boom Bell does come in. Hand of comes out as well. K Phoenix, he's rather tanky though. He has B Fabi up as well. Yeah, they're just running Trust Ragged here. Lakels has no remnants left. He's got one now. Will he use it aggressively? I, I, I bet he will. Looks like QO tries to turn around. And it's Bell. Aegis. <laughs> they just spent so much time and they finally bring the SF down and realize it's only in Aegis. The thing is though, MVP have been fighting around these bot racks for so long and they didn't actually take an objective. Once again, they win a long drawn out team fight where they come out victors and they force buybacks. But taking advantage of that has been a little difficult. I might still do it. Kyo is currently hitting on it. Okay, Phoenix is really low though. He has to get earned up by the Chen. And look, doesn't look like they're gonna initiate. Fabi is just deterring them from doing so. Lifting Pop Lakels. He has to make something happen, but Rexes are still gonna fall eventually. With Sven not wanting to go in without his Wisp. 
And then Shadow Fiend pretty much has Butterfly completed. Eagle Song picked up on himself, while the yeah the rest of the components already on the courier. I mean, this is already reaching territory where it's pretty much Im almost impossible for MVP to lose this game. Ember Spirit is like, if Ember Spirit wasn't in this game, or in fact, if Ember Spirit and Sven weren't in this game, I would say it's game over. Call GG. But the yeah. fact that they have two heroes which can cleave through creep waves, can defend high ground. And potentially can win team fights with a little bit of RNG luck from Sven. The crits can potentially be the difference between losing and winning this game. But I it, think the, it, it is incredibly difficult. It is very difficult. I think the vitality boost is absolutely terrible. He's trying to go for hard. It does possibly his god strength, but it doesn't do anything for his armor. Um, he needs more attack speed as well. At the moment, they can lock people down, but Sven gets stunned like one or two times and he can't get enough hits off. He needs to hit more. Kyo, though, might run into the axe. Oh, he's gonna blink into them, in fact. Where's the call? There we go. Yeah, Reckless Soul already used. No, gonna no, right out now, Lakel. Use God Strength, you fool. God, God Strength? No? Okay. Pro. He uses it now, gets used up into the air. He's gonna try and turn and fight here. Kyo just managing Not to get back. Late. One more hit, Culling Blade, in fact. But Sven, dead and down for the count. No buybacks on these heroes. God Strength not used early enough by the Sven. And Lakel is the last one standing. Phoenix. Finds him, sizes him, and March pushes Lakel's close to the base as Femi comes in with an ultra kill to seal the deal. GG well played is called. MVP with their new roster taking game one up against Mythtrust who had been looking pretty dominant up against Mineski earlier on. But no tiny wisp for them in this game. We'll have to see how they do in game number two which will be coming up shortly.